we're testing out different face masks this morning. <laughs> and Dan says this is this is a viable oh, option. I mean, I think it works. Take a kid it's shirt. Easy, yeah, take a kid shirt. Take a kid shirt. I said you could even put something in as a filter. Yeah, it works. Awesome. What do you think? <laughs> All right, here's the second option, just tying it around the back. I still think you would need some kind of a filter, but tuck it in your shirt so you don't look, like your shirt so you don't look yeah. as crazy, maybe? Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm over here attempting to make Catherine from Do It On A Dime's version with a pillowcase, and it just seems way too thick. Like, you can't breathe through it, and the, the hair ties are way too tight. You would have to have, like, super stretched out hair ties, or put, like, a string to connect them behind your ears. But even even so, there's way too much material here. You wouldn't be able to breathe. We just found out two days ago that our governor wants everyone who goes out into public to wear a face mask. So I really was genuinely researching how to make one because we can't get one. Dan did have one at work. I wish he had brought it home, but he didn't. So we genuinely are trying to figure out what are some other alternatives that we can do. I mean, we don't plan to go out in public again until we have to grocery shop again, which will hopefully not be for another at least two weeks, if not longer. The only other time we go out is into nature and there's not people around. So I believe you only have to wear the mask if you are within you know, six feet of somebody, which we are avoiding. But just thinking ahead to the next time we have to grocery shop, um, we're you know trying to figure out what we can do. We are just our own little family unit here and we're praising God that we are all healthy, but we know that that is not the situation for a lot of people and my heart goes out to everyone affected and we are praying that this will be resolved quickly and that health will be restored to this country and we know that the Lord has it in his hands and we are resting in that and we are not panicking um, but we certainly are planning and being prepared and praying for sure. So I think it's going to be a day at home again. Um, it was very windy all yesterday and it seems like today is very windy and very cold like in the 40s. So not really great weather to be outside. So we're going to stay home and just try to try to keep busy. Okay, we all got ready for the day. Got my little shadow here behind me. Um, I changed out of my shirt because we're going to be filming something for our church. Everyone is going to be submitting little video clips of something pertaining to Easter. So whether you want to read a Bible passage or you want to just share a story or um, and just anything really, anything goes. And then they're submitting them to me and I'm gonna edit them into a video. So we're gonna attempt to film something with three children. And I think we're gonna do, we have those resurrection eggs, which I think I shared in a video last year. It's a dozen eggs and then inside of each plastic egg, there's a little token of some kind that goes through and explains the Easter story. So I think we're gonna try to just do that and have the kids as much as they can you know if sometimes they get camera shy like they can do it in person no problem but you turn a camera on and all of a sudden you know they don't want to do it so that's what we're going to attempt to do it is crazy windy i just saw a whole bunch of deer run through our backyard into the woods i don't know if this wind is like spooking them or what it's really windy and the sheep are still out all right so we just filmed our video in luke's room because it gets really good light these are the resurrection eggs that i was talking about and each one is filled with a little um token of the Easter story. So there's like the coins that, you know, Judas was paid to betray Jesus. There's the cup when Jesus was with his disciples. There's just something for each little part of the story. Some praying hands. So that was really nice to film. Everyone did really great. Okay, lunch is done. Kids are down for quiet time. Dan is working in the garage and maybe he's just going to hang out in there with him. I'm going to put on a podcast and just tidy up a little bit around the house. And I'm considering putting a coat of paint in our hallway. I've mentioned it before that when we first bought this house, we painted everything the same color and we over the past three years have pretty much repainted every single color, every single wall, you know, got rid of that old original color. So the hallway is like the last part, I think. There might be a little bit in the kitchen here um, above the cabinets, but the hallway is one of the rooms I've been wanting to paint, you know, room. So I might do that today. I'm going to wait until Lara and Luke are like totally asleep 
um, before I get started because even though painting seems like it's a quiet activity, it's actually surprisingly loud when the house is like perfectly silent. So I'm gonna just tidy up a little bit, wait for them to go to sleep, and then hopefully tackle that project. It shouldn't take too long, it's not that big of a hallway. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get it done. So I'm making an iced coffee to enjoy. I'm not totally done painting. I just need to cut in around the ceiling, but I needed something higher to stand on because I couldn't reach just on my regular chair. Um, but I'm listening to the Homemaker Chic podcast. I love how long they are because it really helps me like get a lot done while I'm listening. And I just, instead of changing into my painting clothes because it wasn't going to be a super messy job, I just turned my apron inside out. That's what I've been using. Um, but Lyra's awake. Both of them are now out with Dan outside and Luke is still napping. So I'm hoping to finish this before he gets up. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty quick project. I love to paint. I love the feeling of painting. I love the smell of the paint. So it felt good to get that done. is drying now but I'm gonna go around with a little bit of this white this is what I use for all the trim and all the doors in our house it's just like an off-the-shelf paint you don't have to like get it mixed or anything it's just called like ultra what is it called interior semi gloss enamel just plain white paint and primer in one and so I'm just gonna touch up any little marks on the baseboards or on any of the door frames all right, the trim is all nice and fresh now. Uh, we do have to get a cover for that. Our electrician took out an outlet that wasn't working, so we're just gonna put one of those like flat covers. There's nothing like electrical exposed, it's just the metal box. But just to make it look better, we need to get a cover for it. But the last little part of this project is I'm going to be putting this piece of trim just here on the corner. We've done this in the kitchen too, just because it's such a frequently accessed corner um, it gets really banged up like you can start to see the metal it doesn't want to focus but um, it just you know the kids bang into it and stuff so I just take this really simple um, corner trim I don't even know if this is what it's meant for it's just like an L shape and I just cut it just so that it looks a little bit more decorative if you will and I put it here on the corner just to protect it and then I'll paint it to match the wall. And you really don't see it. It kind of just blends in, but it just gives some protection to that corner. This is the one that we have in the kitchen. You can see it just, it kind of really just blends in, but it protects those frequently banged up areas. Like kind of right there where a chair fell and banged into the wall. So I did also bring up some spackle from the basement. So we might touch up a few, you know, spots around the house and just tackle a few things that need some attention. Cup of water. Oh, nice. What are your Barbie's names? Did you give them names? This is the mom because she's older than this girl. Oh, okay. And then to attach it, I just use this power grab Loctite. I use this for a lot of the trim work here. Like, not the main, you know, horizontal what is that horizontal and vertical boards but the trim the in, all the inset pieces the smaller ones i just use loctite on those and it's held up really really well and that's what i used here too so that's what we use on this one hallway project is done I got my little corner piece there all up and painted everything's looking nice and fresh now the goal of this was definitely not to 
change the color of the hallway all that much or the look of it. I just wanted to freshen it up. Even if I was repainting it the same color, I would have still really appreciated the, you know, the refreshing, especially down here. Kids are just constantly walking by, you know, they had like crayon markings down there. It's just regular everyday life. So I'm happy with the slightly new color. This is the color of our bedroom. So I like that they kind of coordinate with each other. But now I want to update, especially this photo of the girls. I want to maybe change it to a photo of all three of them. We have a family photo there but it'd be nice to maybe update that one to include Luke. It's so hard to update photos because the ones that you have usually are really cute. That's why you have them up. And I hate to take it down to put a new one in. Usually I just leave the photo there and I put a new one in front of it so that, you know, if I ever wanna go and see that old photo again, I know that it's still there. And I do have some photos that I saved. You know, I took photos of the kids I, on numerous occasions I just haven't printed anything so I think maybe now is a good time I could do something that just gets delivered to us I think Amazon actually has photo printing but of course anywhere will deliver photos Walmart Target anything like that um, so maybe that's another project to take care of while we're home so Dan made pierogies for dinner we like them with fried onions and sour cream and we've been using this cast iron skillet a couple times. Well, we just started it today. But we use it for breakfast and now for dinner. And we're just testing out what it's like to cook in it because we really never did that before. All right, movie's over. And what are you doing, Dan? <laughs> I'm fixing our refrigerator. Our bottom drawer freezer was like getting a sheet of ice on the bottom. So the part on Amazon to fix it was only $17. You just found a video tutorial on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it'll be a quick fix. But I'm gonna go ahead and edit and call this a vlog. So I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow. Bye.